absolutely crazy. It's an actually cross-cut saw that you're gonna be able to, to cut through. Metal width, sheet rock, wood, you name it, PVC pipe, copper pipe. You're gonna be able to do all that. But the beauty of this is, even for, for girls that, that like to do it yourself, you're gonna be able to use this because it's so simple and it's right. so easy. We have this today at a very special price break, $95.95, five flex payments. This might be for mom, this might be for dad, but whatever day it is, Mother's or Father's Day, it might be a combined gift for both of them because everybody can use this. You'll yeah. find places. Exactly, and it's the technology and why we're calling it the cross cut. That's what I think separates this. And I can show you that what you're seeing when you look at this, so it's a small, um, circular saw, but what you're looking at there, and it's hard to see it here, is that it's dual blades. So we have two blades that are rotating in opposite directions, counter-rotating. So what that does versus an ordinary saw is that's gonna take away, I mean, all the hard part, where when you're trying to saw and it gets a lot of kickback and it, it moves too difficult. Here, you know what, let me show you exactly why and what makes this difference. So when I fire up this saw, I wanted to show you that. So what I'm able to do, because we have those rotating blades, is that I can plunge directly into that material. So that's one of the big differences that you can do with a normal, you know, uh, circular saw, one that's larger, one that, you know, it's just more than you really need. But what's neat about that is there's the second thing that you can do with these counter-rotating blades. So when I go down into the material, I can go in both directions, which again, you can go backwards with that single-bladed saw. So I'll show you that again. So I can plunge, cut, and I can move in both directions when cutting. So even right here, as if I was trying to cut out a box, I can do that. But I wanted you to see the things that this can do that an ordinary circular saw cannot do, and that's because of the counter-rotating blades, the dual blades. That's the difference, and that's why we call this the cross cut. And it really is different being able to do that plunge cut. And why is that handy? Because you're doing work maybe in the middle of material. You know, one of the things we talk about, Alice, is what if you wanted to just even do, which could be a fun but simple job, you wanted to cut a doggy door a, mm -hmm. into your existing door. That's something where you can't come from the edge and get to the center, but you could get right into that material, just like if it was this door, and you could start going in opposite directions, and you could, you could cut out a box, I could go up here, plunge right in, cut that box, you'll be able to cut back and forth in there with a saw like this, and that's, I think, all the difference. And you can do it in virtually all different types of material, from this fiberglass board that we're using, you can plunge cut even into this metal as well. It really is something that you can do in drywall, plywood, all those different materials makes it super easy to do. And super, super lightweight. This is just a smidge under five pounds. I mean, when's the last time that you, you were able to get a saw like this? I, I love the, the fact that the saw is so smart, so smart and so simple to use, but compact, because most of us don't really need one of those great, big, huge, you know, 10-inch saws, right? What we do need is for some of the, the little projects you have around the house, and this is gonna work for that, because it goes through copper pipe. Yeah, Look copper at all. pipe's a good one, PVC pipe's another one. Any kind of, we've shown metal shelving, and there's a, a great one, and I can cut some of that for us as well, is all the trim work you wanna do, whether it's baseboards, whether it's door framing, things like that. There's the metal shelving. You know, you can buy those shelves right. and then they never ever they fit, never fit. But you wanna cut them to fit. So this makes I that either, job seconds. I have to hire somebody to come out and then be able to trim those down, or I can just do this all by myself because it's so lightweight oh, there's because the doggy it's door. simple. Yeah. Yeah, you can do I it. I mean, how simple is that to do? Yeah, I think doing things like trim, working with different things. I've got a piece of um, baseboard here. Same thing, you can plunge cut it if you need to, or you just hit that material and you can see it. What, when I do that, what you notice is that the saw is, I mean, it's very, very smooth. That's what's so different about it, that you're able to plunge down into those materials and then, you can move right across. I mean, when you get the hang of using this, you see how simple and how easy it cuts. And then certainly even material like this, which is much smaller, that quarter round. I mean, how you can get and just make those cuts 
so simple. I mean, even if you yeah. were using smaller materials like this and you're thinking, well, I can do that with a handsaw, and you probably could, and it's not extremely difficult, but you'll be able to get precise with this. You'll be able to get those cuts quicker and easier, and it all comes down to those two blades. And I think you can see that, how they counter rotate. See if I separate them there. You can see two blades moving in opposite directions are giving you, here it is, here are those dual counter-rotating blades. That's why there's no kickback. So if you think about this, if we had one blade going in one direction, you can't go backwards because that blade's not cutting in reverse. It's not able to plunge into material. This is what's so different about this cross cut. And all that means to you, is no kickback, it means no difficulty handling the saw, it means smooth, easy cuts. And I think that's what we're looking for when we're gonna be using a saw. And because it is just about five pounds, because it's so lightweight, you're gonna be able to use this. But here's my favorite part, which look at it. I mean, the whole thing is maybe like four to four, maybe five inches in terms of the diameter. It gives you so many more options in terms of where you can use it because it's not one of those great big, huge blades. It's so heavy that it takes even two hands to do it. You're going to be able to hold it right here, support it right there, and be able to really guide that wherever you want it to go. Simple, easy solutions. That's what you're looking for. And you want it to be affordable today under, under what, $95.95. Simple, easy to get this home. We're gonna send this right to your front door. You can put it on, I think it's five flex payments as well. Less than $20 on your credit card today. But get yourself, if it's Mother's Day, treat yourself. If it's Father's Day, you're gonna be able to do all those projects that you've been begging the, the husband or trying to get your hand in hand to do. And then you're gonna be able to do it because you can and you have the right tool. And that's right through metal. Right, so that diamond plate, again, diamond plate, you can do a lot of different projects with that, but same thing, I'm in the middle of that material and you can plunge down back and forth, you can cut out a box. It just makes for more difficult cuts and it makes them extremely easy. So when you can plunge cut into all these different materials and you can see how smooth it is, I think you're gonna be really pleased with a saw like this. Any of these materials, again, you're down into that material, forward, backward, it makes all the difference. So cutting out even a small box like this is gonna be very simple. I'm trying to do it really quick for you, but you're gonna be able to do cuts exactly like this. So I'm certainly not super neat or following the lines. We didn't have any lines there, but being able to cut that out. I mean, even if you're talking about doing some from craft projects where you're mm -hmm. using even thinner materials, right? You're gonna be able to do this drywall is a breeze. Again, I can cut a little bit of that drywall as but, well. And, and look at how nice and sharp the cuts are too. Yeah, and I don't I mean, even have like... a you know a drawn line, mm -hmm. but you can see creating that is going to be simple because we are going back and forth. You're able to plunge cut, you're able to cut those smaller materials, you're able to do all of that. And then including some of the, the PVC, the metal, we give you, and I'll show you in this one, what we're showing you here is that it has the lubrication sticks. So when you're doing some soft metals, this is just gonna automatically lubricate those dual counter rotating blades so it's nice and smooth as well when you're using this on metals. So it comes with all the lubrication sticks, you get those as well. Five pounds, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Five pounds, so you're gonna be able to do all those projects that you've had your eye on, whether it's metal, whether it's sheetrock, whatever it might be, it could be uh, some crafting projects, it could be for if your husband likes to, to uh, build things. You're gonna have such fun with it though and you're gonna be able to do it yourself. There's such a sense of satisfaction, I think, but there's also a sense of freedom. Get it done when you wanna get it done. You know, not having to depend on somebody else, asking somebody else when you can do it yourself. But look at how it goes right through metal. Look at how it goes right through wood. You'll like the size of it. That because it has a, a smaller diameter blade, then it means that you can do more with it because you can get into more um, smaller areas. That's my favorite part about this entire design. And by the way, if you have the HSN card, you can even, even get an extra flex payment and uh, make that $16. I mean, when you see those cuts, as we were talking about, you could do it with a saw, but this, or a hand saw, this makes it so easy. And because you can plunge cut some of these materials, that you don't have to have that dedicated workspace with a huge table to use a giant, you know, circular saw. You can do this. My, my father-in-law was trying to cut, we were putting in some new fencing on a small fence. It's, uh, they were actually like cedar planks that we had in there. And he was using a, 
a jigsaw. Mm -hmm. And he was struggling and that was going all over. And I said, I have the crosscut saw. And he just held the material on the edge of the counter and I was able to take all of them off. Because we only needed one cut on one end and we were done. But it was super simple to, to do and to use with this. And he had never used it before, loved it. It is simple. This really is the saw for everyone mm -hmm. out there who's not used a saw. If you're not someone who's ever used a circular saw and you've seen those big giant ones and you're thinking, well, I don't think I need that. What do I really need? This is it. You can see that it's so simple simple dual counter rotating blades which make those really those cuts are impossible mm -hmm. with what we might think of those big expensive professional tools right but this is the one that can do it because of the counter rotating blades yeah this is the one you're going to be able to handle this is the one that's going to work for you and this is the one that's so affordable i mean really you get this home for less than twenty dollars fits in the palm of your hand it has great safety features has a, a great little cover that goes right over that the blades so that when you're not using them you don't have to worry about it so a great time to really think about Mother's Day, Father's Day, because it will be here in a second. Yeah, no, that's a great, that's a really an excellent Father's Day gift. Any any guy who wants to get some of those projects done at home would love this. Make sure you invest in the safety glasses, because these are important, okay? So you should always 